so if i have to see this data in ana plan it is simple i can uh, i can create this kind of a module like a bookings module okay so i have the same products list then i, ha I have the time dimension on the columns and all the other measures i put it as filters like i can create pages and import that as a i use that as a module like use that within the module okay so you have products list you have time dimension you have the sales rep as one page and you have the measures which are nothing but the line items as another page okay so it it allows me to filter upon one sales rep for one product for one measure for one month so all of that data in a single view i am able to see if if you want to store this kind of a data in excel worksheet it is very complex right like will you be able to see that in a single view no definitely no okay so here we see the unit sold right for each product yes unit sold with just one measure there might be other measures like a gross margin profit or loss there might be other measures for each product so you mean like if we change the measure instead of unit sold we choose from the list revenue the information will uh, uh, show pertaining to the revenue okay so okay mm -hmm. so so basically um the moment you change the sales rep you will see all the data pertaining to that sales rep for different products okay so the beauty about ana plan is it can handle multi dimensional data no restrictions all together you can bring more filters onto this and the more and more you do the more and more data it can have and it is very dynamic you can play around the huge data with having complex logics and all of that and eventually this data can be used for reporting okay so as i understand at one moment i can see on the screen just information for example for unit sold or a revenue but i can't see uh revenue and unit sold at the same time is it right you can you can uh, see both unit sold and revenue also at the same time i'll show you how to how to see that so you you saw this in the powerpoint now let me show that in the ana plan uh, this thing itself okay so see here the same module has been created we have unit sold unit sales price and all of this for different products and okay th this is 1 2 3 4 is nothing but the sales rep like uh, i have created as a numbered list so that's why you are seeing as 1 2 3 4 um okay so this is nothing but the sales rep so basically when i click on this uh, pivot i will see what is being used within this model one second let me try to open this okay let me okay so these are all the things that is used within this bookings module i have the products list i have the versions i have the sales team then i have the measures then i have the time dimension so this is like a five dimensional data okay you asked me uh, whether i uh, can um, uh, see both the unit sold and unit sales price or revenue right so here you are seeing that so you are seeing the revenue as one measure and unit sold as another measure but each this okay. is getting calculated differently for each product by each sales rep okay so uh, you can change the view however we want so if you want to see the this view then what i will do i will just drag products to rows and i will drag line items to pages and i will click okay so this is a pivot that happens so it changes the view see the moment i did that you see the view getting changed you are seeing all the products on the rows you have the time dimension on the columns and you are seeing the measures as a filter revenue unit sales price unit sold these are all the measures okay and uh, if we return to the previous uh, table can i see uh, not just one product but several for example if i want to compare them by revenue and uh, cost let's say or revenue and uh, unit sold 
for example. So are you saying both revenue units sold and for different products on the rows? Uh, yeah, for example, uh, uh, in the previous uh, table, we saw just one item, product item, right? Can so I choose just, several? So I will get back to the previous view. So this was the previous view. So you saw the measures and you saw individual products as a filter. Yeah, can I add some more ice creams here? Yes, yes, there is no limitations. You can add n number of things. So, so basically these ice creams are coming from the products list. Okay. So when I go back to the pivot, I've used this as a list here. Like this is a products list used within the bookings module. So you ask me if you want to add more ice creams. So how do you do that? I will just go to the settings. I will go to the general list called the products list. I will open this. So I have grouped this as uh, all the products as ice creams, milkshakes, desserts, drinks, and all of that. And with uh, it, okay. here we can go ahead and insert new list items. Okay. Okay. So this is just uh, already. This is just a list group grouping. Of, I, uh, we spoke about list, right? Uh, here. Okay. So the, this is a products list. It has grouping about individual products. So basically these are all grouped. So uh, ice cream is the parent under ice creams. I have sandwich, shake, small, large. These are all the child. So this is like a hierarchy child parent. Okay. okay. And eventually I, 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 I define the property also. So for example, for this products list, I can have unit cost and unit selling price as two properties. So I've created two properties, unit sales price and unit cost. The moment I import all the products, I will have to define what is the selling price? What is the cost for each product? Mm -hmm. That data I can see in the grid view. So when I click on the grid view, so for each product, I can see what is the sales price and what is the cost? Okay. So you have the tree view, which is the parent child relationship grid view, which has all the metadata information or the property information. And eventually this data can be used in the modules for our complex uh, formulas or for our data processings. Uh, so as I understand, grid view is used to, uh, to see what is in the uh, main group, in the group. Yeah, information yeah. so basically all the information pertaining to that product we can see in the grid view. I can have more properties like uh, uh, product name, uh, product ID, uh, uh, then uh, product manufacturing date, okay. product selling date, something like that, right? I can I can add more properties and then have that data stored as well. Okay, and can you see? Uh, uh, okay, in the table we saw the information group by categories. For example, let's say ice cream, right? And it yeah. shows us sales price and unit cost, but uh, average, let's say, average sales price and uh, uh, total amount of units sold. Yes, right? you, 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 can, you can see that, uh, you can have it here, or what you can do, you can, um, you can see all products, like you can, you can enable that, you can definitely see all the selling price of all the products and- uh, Yeah, okay. So, average, so yeah, you can uh, enable those properties. Basically, you create them and write the format and write the formula. Uh, so you can see not just aggregated information, but what is in the uh, in this specific category. Yes, you can. Only for that specific category as well, you can view. So uh, I mean, just to see how specific products influence the whole category. Sorry, Alina, can you come again on the your question? Uh, for example, you see that uh, we sold, uh, let's say, 100 items, uh, 100 ice creams. Yeah. And I want to, to understand uh, what type of ice cream is sold most of all in this category. Yeah. So basically once you use this category in the module, right? So you will see that here, uh, you can, you can select ice cream itself as the category. So this will show for all the, uh, all the items underlying that 
like you can select the parent and then you will see the total aggregated value like a quarterly value and you can see a, a, a finance like for each quarter and for the close of the financial year 